Uh, and good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to uh, this edition of Saturday Morning New Distributor Training. My name is Fred Holmes. Uh, I'm an independent distributor with ZG International, and I got the t-shirt to prove it. So uh, welcome to all of you. Uh, we're going to, uh, if you haven't figured this out already, we're going to have a good time today. I'm going to have a good time. Y'all ought to just join me and have a good time with me. Um, this, this edition of New Distributor Training uh, is occurring at a very special time. Uh, for those of you that are live with us, you get it. For those of you that uh, have been invited to the, the uh, YouTube video uh, replay link, uh, you're going to get it just a little bit behind uh, everybody else. This is Saturday, uh, the first day of period 144, and the very first day of the sprint for fall 2019. Uh, for those of you that are really just brand new, you're going to come up to speed real quick during this training so you'll understand the things that we're talking about. But this is an incredibly exciting time in Zija because we are, you know, actually uh, it, we're at my time zone, it's 10 o'clock, so we're 10 hours into the most significant 28 days of your Zija career, okay? And that sounds like a pretty... Uh, uh, lofty statement, if you will, but but trust me, I am not exaggerating. Uh, I have been around this profession for many, many years. I've been involved with now three different companies, uh, uh, longest time here with ZG International. And I have been able to see uh, the kinds of ebbs and flows that happen in the growth of a legacy company. Um, Probably the best way to share this with you is 12 months, 18, 24 months from now, you can come back to this specific video and hear me say, today is the beginning of the most important 28 days of your Zija career. And two years from now, three years from now, you will either know that you will either uh, have experienced what I said to be true, or wish you had, okay? That's a, it's a pretty significant statement, but it has everything to do with what's being put into place for the, uh, the, the sprint to fall, uh, the timing of that in advance of, you know, one of the most productive 90-day periods in the multi-level calendar, uh, probably, if you will, the most productive in a long-term sense, because it will set up all of your 2020. Okay, 2020 uh, is going to be a pivotal year in the growth of ZG International. You will either want to have been here doing the deal or wish you had. That's the only two options that you have. So uh, for those of you that are just getting started with us, brand new distributors, welcome to you. Um, I am going to give you a couple of things right now before I get into the morning training. Uh, kind of a little clarification. We call this particular broadcast, uh, you know, I pr predominantly anchor this broadcast. We have several other members of the team that'll do that. So if you don't particularly like my style, good for you. There's somebody else <laughs> that's coming up next week that'll be able to probably entertain you more. Um, but uh, uh, w the, the new distributor training, it's a little bit of a misnomer. This training is designed to be something a little bit different every single Saturday morning. We're not going to, to lose the opportunity of this valuable hour in your weekly each calendar to go over the same thing over and over. However, there is a little proviso. For those of you that are just getting started with Zija, maybe this is your first foray into the, the network marketing profession, or maybe you've been involved in network marketing in the past and, and realize that maybe you really never figured out how to do it the way the, the professionals do it. I want to give you a couple of resources. I'm going to put them in the chat box. So uh, for those of you that are, you know, maybe on your smartphone, if you tap the screen, it'll bring up the little chat bubble thing, and then you can uh, see this. I'm going to put a couple of links in there, and then I will also add these to the, uh, you know, to the description uh, on the YouTube channel when, you, when the replay is, uh, is posted there. I'm going to give you a link. Let me do that right now, www.youtube.com forward slash Fred Holmes. Zija forward slash playlists. All right, that link will take you to a, a playlist section on my YouTube channel. It's 
youtube.com forward slash Fred Holmes Zija. Uh, it'll take you to a link there. Uh, uh, the, the playlist link has four little videos. I strongly encourage you to watch those videos. You're going to spend a total of maybe 60 minutes going through that. Um, you know, I, 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 I'm not telling you that my stuff is the, is the end all end all. What I'm sharing with you is that you will get all of the information off of those new distributor training video playlists that you will need to engage in your Zija business. The first video is about 30 minutes long. Uh, it's called New Distributor Training. It is a compilation of what I was taught 30 plus years ago when I entered this profession in network marketing. That 30 minute informational video will teach you exactly what you need to know what we do and how we do it. And, and I'm a firm believer that if you're the person that has the capacity to take advantage of this incredible opportunity, all you're really interested in is what do we do and how do we do it? And then, you know, get out of your way, go do the deal, right? If you knew what has happened to so many people, including myself, by being able to engage in this incredible uh, you know, opportunity of network marketing, and then more importantly, to find a company like Zija, destined to become a, a, you know, a legacy company, a billion dollar a year company, and find it in its formulation stages, uh, the, the benefits of that can change your life. This industry has changed my life. Now, go to that video or that playlist, Listen to that first 30 minute video. For those of you that are uh, really serious about creating, you know, full-time income, maybe, you know, a full-time income on a part-time basis or substantial full-time income or a legacy income, take another 30 minutes, listen to the three additional little videos. They're about 10 minutes a piece. Uh, listen to those videos. Uh, they're, you know, com uh, combined, they would be what I'd call the fast start training, okay? How to get off to a fast start, how to create a prospect list, but doing it the way the professionals do. Uh, how to develop your Zija story. Uh, mark my words, your Zija story will be your number one tool in building your business. It'll start with your story and then it'll become the stories of others that you've helped create success in their lives. Um, you know, the 90 day game plan. These three kinds, those three little extra videos, these are the kinds of things that the high level earners at one point or another in their career had to learn and master. So go there, take advantage of that, um, know, knowing full well that every Saturday morning we will speak to a specific topic or topics uh, to continue that progress of growth in your Zija business. Uh, today, for those of you that got the, the email or maybe saw the Facebook post, um, what, you, what you saw was that, you know, the, the comment that I made or the, the description I made of today's training, what everybody needs to know uh, about the sprint for fall 2019. Now, some of you are probably looking forward to all the details and the specifics and what have you. Uh, I'm not going to go through that, folks. That's already online. That stuff's already available to you. I want to share with you what the, the, the high level achievers are focusing on. And so I encourage you to grab your notebook, grab your journal, okay, whatever it is that you're using to start archiving the information and the knowledge uh, that you're going to gain during this, uh, this, your career in Zija in, uh, and in network marketing. Grab your journal, be prepared to take some notes. Uh, I want to talk about three specific things. I'm gonna roll through this pretty quickly. I will then um, uh, uh, go ahead and, and open up for some questions and answers. You know, I'll do the very best I can. I may call on some of you that are part of the, uh, you know, the attendees and, and see if you can maybe assist me if, if that's appropriate. Uh, we'll take a little break uh, uh, before the top of the hour. Uh, and then we're gonna come right back, right at the top of the hour. Uh, that's 11 o'clock Pacific time. We're going to do a short team meeting, okay? And, and folks, the, the team meeting is simply to give us focus and direction for the next 28 days. We do that at the beginning of every single period. Um, I certainly encourage all of you, you, it doesn't make any difference whether you're part of, you know, my team. We're all part of the Zija team, and everything I share is appropriate and congruent 
with all of the other leaderships and all the other teams that are part of Zeej International. So number one, what every distributor needs to understand or know about the, uh, the sprint to fall uh, 2019. Number one, be aware, be focused, be conscious of what it is you need to know. So for instance, one of the things you wanna be aware of are the pertinent documents that you're going to um, uh, uh, need for participation in this, um, uh, you know, the next 28 days. And, uh, you know, one of them, the sprint to fall document, how to earn points for the, for the sprint contest. Um, number two, the three and free uh, uh, component of our, um, uh, of our new uh, compensation plan incentives. Uh, that's gonna be very critical to you. Uh, be connected to the Zija Champions page on Facebook. Now, I think most everybody that's active and engaged is for the brand new people and for those of you that somehow, you know, missed the, uh, you know, the, the deal, get yourself, oh, very good. If you look in your chat box, uh, Laureen just um, uh, posted the link to the Facebook groups, Ch Zija Champions Facebook page. It's a close group. You're gonna have to be a, a closed group. It's gonna, you're gonna have to be approved and added. Uh, but go in there and, and petition to be added. Uh, I think all you really need is your, your Zeej ID number, okay, your distributor ID number, and you'll be added. That's the, the, the vehicle that the company is pushing all of the pertinent information to. So you need to be part of that. And, and I probably need to back up for just a second. Uh, for those of you maybe just got started or, or maybe didn't get involved in the sprint to uh, uh, fall 2019, we are holding a 28 day contest where we've created groups. You know, I, I've got my little group, I've got four other people plus myself. And as a team, we've put together these different teams. And as a team, we are working to accumulate points uh, for various, uh, you know, uh, gifts from Zija, Zija swag, as they say, and an opportunity to be part of the top 10 teams. They get a very special uh, uh, excursion and invitation to a special event uh, for the top 10 members. Now, you're either on a team or you're not, okay? Because the deadline was last week to get that done. If you're on a team, congratulations, okay? If you're not on a team, my, I strongly encourage you to pretend like you are, okay? Now, maybe you're new. Um, Maybe uh, you didn't get invited to a team. You need to look to your active, and this is a critical, active or engaged upline and ask to participate. Okay, You're not going to be earning points in the fashion for the disease, just swag and that sort of thing. But that's not the important thing. Trust me on this, okay? It's not about, you know, the Zija blanket or the other, you know, doodads or whatever not about that stuff okay it's about the momentum that you can create in the next 28 days which will serve you well as we move into this final quarter of the multi-level calendar uh, it's about helping you create consistency of activity it's about helping you create a da daily method of operation it's about creating momentum those are the valuable aspects of this. The contest, and, and you know, and I'm probably going to get some pushback from, from somebody on it. It's not about the contest, okay? I'll pay for that blanket if you want it, all right? It's about what you can do to set yourself up for success over the next four weeks, over the final you know, five months of the year and propelling that into the beginning in full bone momentum for 2020. Okay, that's what it's about. So if you're not part of a team, see if you can participate in the activities of an, an ongoing team. If you uh, maybe just got started, why not put together a little team of your own? But more importantly, focus on your activities you can use the points. This way you can kind of reward yourself. Oh, you know, I could have, if I had been in the part of a team, I could have had to do this. Just keep in mind, it's the activities 
that are the important aspect of the sprint for uh, fall 2019. So first things first, okay? Be aware, be informed. You cannot succeed if you don't understand what it is you're supposed to do. So take a little time, all right? Review those documents. Uh, I will, uh, you know, provide some links for you in the um, uh, in, in the information section uh, of the YouTube channel. So when uh, you know when you when the video is posted, you'll be able to find that stuff there. Uh, but what's more important than you being well, it's not more important. It's important that you be informed, you be plugged in, you be aware. You have to know the correct activities. To win it's real simple you know if you don't know the rules of the game how are you gonna win okay it's just gonna be lucky maybe uh, but you got to know the rules it's also important that you help your people be aware help them be informed and for those of you that were with us last week one of the things I was talking about towards the end of that session was the difference between uh, helping people and enabling them okay you can help somebody by, by giving them information, but you can empower them by giving them access to the resources so they can be independent. So rather than telling people, you know, the specifics of what they need to do, get them the document, show them where the document is, you know, the three and free documents so they can learn it for themselves. Okay, the things that we participate ourselves in are so much more important than stuff that's just handed. It's the difference between teach a person to fish versus giving them a fish, right? I think we understand that. Number two, be focused and consistent. Now, here's some of the things that, that I know, all right? Um, some of the most successful people in, in our company, and certainly in, in the profession network marketing, were not particularly special in other, any other endeavor, okay? I would be one of those people. Um, I was not particularly successful in life uh, in the sense that the world understands it. You know, I, I was a cross country truck driver before I got involved in this business. Now, in my mind, I was a success. I had a job that I loved. Uh, I made a decent living, what I thought was a good living at the time. I was taking care of my business, if you will. Um, the, you know, the fact of the matter is, is most people don't consider truck drivers to be highly successful. Now, the keys to the success I had in truck driving are also the keys to being successful in any endeavor. It's just real simple, you know, a, a quick example. You know, if you're a really good driver and you're driving a, you know, a 59 Volkswagen versus you're a really good driver, but you're driving my, you know, V10 M6, guess who's going faster? Has no different, it's not about the driver. In this particular case, it's about the vehicle, okay? But now you take a really good driver and put them in my M6 and they become whiz bang, right? So this is what you have in network marketing and in particular with Zeech International is an opportunity to take the, 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 the skill sets, if you will, uh, the personality uh, um, attributes that I'm gonna share with you and really do something of significance. Now, I was succeeding as a truck driver because I had these three attributes and you probably want to put them in your notes. Number one, I had very good work ethics. I've always had very good work ethics, okay? Now, when I say that, now part of that is the ability to work hard, but good work ethics, meaning in, in this sense, doing what you said you were gonna do. You know, if you're gonna show up for work at 5 a.m., you show up for work, and ready to work at 5 a.m. Then you, you showed up at a quarter of five, right? Um, being where you said you were going to be when you said you were going to be there. You know, uh, you know, um, one particular run I remember, I had to have a hot load of strawberries in, um, in uh, uh, Lincoln, Nebraska by 5 p.m. local time on Friday, or else I wasn't going to get unloaded until Monday. And if that stuff sat in my trailer till Monday, it'd be strawberry jam right? It had to get there. So doing what you said you were going to do, good work ethics. That was, you know, that was honed into my life for as long as I can remember. You know, uh, my, my grandfather 
uh, was an immigrant to this country, uh, a farm worker. I mean, this guy worked hard long after he was, you know, quote, disabled and couldn't work anymore. He was still working. You know, my mother raised us as a single mom. She, my, you know, all, all my life, I remember mom had, you know, a full-time job, a part-time job, and a part-time, part-time job. I didn't know anything other than good work ethics. Um, so have good work ethics. That's going to be critical, okay? But, I, I, you know, most people work hard, right? Uh, second attribute, willing to learn, coachable. See, I didn't, didn't pretend like I knew how to drive a truck. I had to learn how to drive a truck to become successful. And I, you know, uh, same thing in network marketing. I didn't try to reinvent the wheel. Uh, I had a big advantage when I first started in this industry, what, mid 80s, what's that, 34 years ago, I think. Um, my sponsor in my first company was a million dollar earner. Now, the advantage I had there is I was taught how to do this the way the high level income earners do it. However, I was also very coachable. I didn't try and reinvent the wheel. I didn't ask, well, why do you do it like this? Why don't you do it like this? Da, 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 da. You know, all the things that people do to mess themselves up, I skip past that. What I was interested in was what do I do? How do I do it? And I'm gonna go do it. That's what I was interested in doing. So willingness to work, you know, a good work ethics, willingness to learn, got to be coachable, follow, um, you know, people that have already demonstrated they know what to do. Number three, most important of the three characteristics, a high level desire to succeed. Okay, burning desire to succeed. Now, when I first started in this industry, uh, I left trucking not because I didn't like it, I loved it, but I needed a way to help my son. My son was hitting school age, a special needs child. I needed, you know, way more money than a truck driver made to provide for the specialized educational resources. And I needed way more time freedom than a truck driver has to be with him. That was going to be critical to his success. I had a white hot burning desire to succeed because it was all about creating an environment for my son where he could succeed. And, and I, want to th I want you to think about this because I've heard all these things, you know, uh, you know, why people, you know, can't do Zija or whatever, you know, I don't have enough time. Uh, you know, I don't know enough. Um, you know, I don't have the right contacts. I don't have the financial resources, whatever the, the reasons are. I want you to think about this for a minute. What, how, what would be the reason that I would give up on providing for my son? Nothing. Had nothing to do with how tired I was, uh, you, know, or, you know, the contacts I had, the resources I had, the time freedom I had. None of that was an issue. There was nothing more important than providing for my son. When you have a why you need to be successful, that is at a high level, it will create the other two characteristics, okay? If why you need to be successful is important enough, it'll create good work ethics. It'll create coachability. So three characteristics for success, and this applies frankly to any endeavor in life, willingness to work, willingness to learn, burning desire to succeed. Now, when you're, the second point I made was to be focused and to be consistent. Those attributes will lend themselves to this second point of focus and consistency. So first let's talk about focus. Focus means setting your goals, you know, set, establishing your plan of action and working on the plan. So since we're working with the, the current uh, incentive, the current contest, the sprint for 2019, fall 2019, here's my suggestions to you. Today, since this is day one, if you haven't already done so, set some uh, a long-term goal. Now, what's a long-term goal? What you'll accomplish during the 28 days, the you know period 144 that we're currently just started, what you know numeric value of points do you want to achieve? The documents that I referenced a, <clears throat> a moment ago, they will tell you what the activities are and the points that are created by it. But set a goal. 
Okay, now a lot of people get hung up here. Well, I don't know. Uh, what if my goal is too high? What if it's too low? What if it's this? Don't worry about that stuff. Pick a number. Okay, pick a number. Here's, here's the worst thing that could happen. You don't hit it. You know, maybe your goal is to have 40 points and be part of the elite 40. Okay, Get, that's another part of our incentive program. So a new compensation plan changes. Uh, the elite 40. Um, maybe you don't hit it. Okay, you didn't hit it. That's the worst thing that could possibly happen. What's the best thing that could happen? You could exceed it. What's the most likely thing to happen? Somewhere in between the two. Okay, pick a number, set a goal. Now, once you have that goal, let's say you want to be, in, in, and let me, let's dial it back down a little bit. Let's do the uh, uh, Premier 20. Okay, Premier 20, you get the 20 points this period. That's like making 200 bucks because you're going to get your free monthly reorder from ZJ, you know, up to $200. So uh, let's make it 20. Now, once you've set the long-term goal, in this case, 28 days from now to accumulate 20 points, you want to identify, break that down into uh, a more, you know, uh, workable uh, 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 figure. So instead of, you know, this, that's the goal for the next four weeks. Now let's break it down into one week goals. Okay. One week goals. What do you have to accomplish in week one? We're starting that right now. We call it a uh, cycle. Cycle is a week in Zijalang land. Um, you know, what are you going to have to accomplish this week? What are you going to have to accomplish next week? So that you can set yourself up with your weekly goals to be able to obtain your uh, monthly goal. And then break it down one more time into a daily goal. What activities do I have to engage in today that will bring me to a good likelihood of achieving my weekly goals for this cycle? And, and then in turn, those four combined cycles will allow me to do the, you know, the goal that I have for the four-week period of, uh, of period 144. Okay, this is simple stuff, folks. Here's the problem. Most people won't do it. It's simple to do, and it's simple not to do. Okay, the people, uh, I, I, I'd like to tell you there's some magic to making a million dollars but there isn't. It's doing the simple things on a daily basis that most people are not willing to do, and the few that are willing to do it aren't willing to do it day in and day out long enough. Okay? Want to know the magic? I was just willing to do the stuff I had to do every day, and I was willing to do it every day until I made a million dollars. And then, of course, passed that a long time ago. Um, it's true. <laughs> but that's how it's accomplished. So focus, set some goals, make them quantifiable. I want to be, you know, a premier 20 by the end of the period, 20 points. Identify how you're going to have to do that. Look at that document. Um, uh, all of the points, the, the, um, the uh, 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 premier 20, elite 40, the sprint for fall 2019 all use the same metrics, if you will, uh, uh, for points, okay? So once you identify the points you want, identify the actual ways to achieve those points and then the activities that are associated with those ways to, you know, reoccur new enrollments, reoccurring uh, 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 orders from customers and distributors, uh, rank advancements for new people and yourself. What it boils down to it's the activities that we do as uh, Zija distributors. Uh, secondly, for consistency, focus on a daily method of operation. This is critical, folks. Um, some people do it out of necessity. My particular situation, uh, some of you are already aware of this, I'll share with you. My Zija business is a home based business because I'm tied to the home, I care for my elderly mother. Uh, we've been dealing with dementia issues for a number of years. So I literally do 99% of my business is done right here. Just what we're doing right now. This little office room right here, either on the telephone, video conferencing, all of it's done right here. So for me, because so much of my, you know, time is invested in my mom, it's, a, it's critical 
that I am very, very detailed and very regimented about my daily method of operation. Uh, there are specific things that I do every single day that lead to the results that I'm looking for in my Zija business, my daily method of operation. Now, your daily method of operation, DMO, uh, will vary based upon your circumstances, the time that's available to you, um, you know, what have you. Now, uh, for me, I focus on specific things every single day. You know, one of them is, you know, personal development or skill sets development. I still commit 20 to 30 minutes a day every single morning uh, to that. Okay. I commit to uh, activities, sharing the product, sharing the opportunity, the, the, the what we do. So you'll get that from the, uh, the first training video on, on the playlist that I mentioned at the top of the hour. Uh, I focus on other things for uh, personal development, uh, maintaining balance in my life. There are specific times of day that are, spe that are specific to mom. Okay. There's some parts of the day specific to me, uh, you know, work out at the gym kind of stuff. That those kinds of things are all part, but here's the key. Okay, it's not the activities. Key is that every single day, the activities that I will engage in for the day and when those activities will be done has already been organized the night before. That's a clue. Start your day the night before. Identify the activities that will make a meaningful difference in your business and your life. Schedule those activities before you go to bed. That way when you wake up in the morning, you already have your day planned. Now that may be you have 30 minutes allocated for the entire day to your Zija business. Maybe it's 60 minutes. Maybe it's two hours, but those two hours in the form of you know 20 minutes in the morning, 30 minutes at lunch, 15 minutes on the way home from work, uh, an hour after dinner, and then boom, you got two hours in your, in your uh, 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 committed to your Zija business. So number two, be focused and be consistent. That means have your, your plan in place, okay? What are the numbers that you want to achieve? And then be consistent with a daily method of operation. Here's the last item I want to talk about, and we'll open up some questions and answers. Number three, be accountable and be responsible okay be accountable and be responsible now being accountable that's to yourself okay why is it that you need to succeed have that firmly planted in your in your mind uh maybe it's something you need to review on a daily basis i didn't you know in the mid 80s when i first started in this profession i didn't wake up in the morning and sit down and look at my, you know, written goals of, you know, how important it was to provide for my son's education and have the time freedom to be there. That was foremost in my mind all the time. Now, I'm not saying that you don't have to do that. I'm saying you probably should do that. For me, it really wasn't something I needed to reinforce. I, I, I went to sleep thinking about it. I woke up in the morning thinking about it. Everything I did all day was, was thinking about moving me closer to a time where I could be there for my son and the financial resources that I needed for him were a non-issue. I could just pick up the checkbook and write the check. Uh, for those of you that are uh, with Faith and, a and um, AJ's group right now, uh, this is a checkbook. I know you've probably never seen one before. These are checks. I actually have a checkbook just because uh, uh, there's there's two people in my life that uh, that need checks, you know, uh, my my yard boy he doesn't take my American Express card, so I got out. I'm sorry, I got distracted. Um, be accountable to yourself. Okay, hold yourself accountable for the activities that you need to be doing. Nobody else is going to do it. This is one of the most important personal development skills you'll ever ever develop. It's the difference between the 95% of the world that works for a living and the 5% of the world that works for themselves, okay? Be accountable to yourself. Hold yourself responsible for what you said you were going to do. Number two, be responsible for your team, okay? Every single person that moves beyond 
you know, supplemental income, the value, the great, uh, you know, equalizer, if you will, in terms of network marketing, is that our personal activity, our personal productivity can be augmented many, many times through the efforts of others, but they're not working for us. We work for them. The hardest working people in this type of business are the people that have achieved the, the higher rank levels. You know, they've gone from distributor to bronze and then to silver and gold and then to, you know, emerald and diamond and so on. But it's all because they have become responsible for others. Now, when I say responsible, be very clear on this. We are not responsible for others' activities. We are responsible for providing them with the information, uh, the knowledge, the guidance, the direction, the support, uh, encouragement, the, the focus that they need to achieve their goals. Okay, very important distinction there. So many people lack an understanding of what is in their control and what is not in their control. Here's what's in our control, our actions. What do we do? Did we share the product today with one, two, three, or however many people we chose to share it with? Did we share our opportunity with whatever the specific number of exposures that we had allocated for today's activities? Um, did we teach others how to do this? And involved in there is, you know, did we follow up on the, on the customer we started yesterday? Did we follow up with our, our new distributor? Uh, you know, the, yesterday we encouraged them to watch the video. Did we follow up to see if they had any questions on that? All those things are components of what we do on, you know, activities on a daily basis. But be very clear on this. Know the difference between what you are uh, accountable for, what's in your control, and what is out of your control. Here's what's out of your control. What other people do. Okay, I can offer somebody an opportunity to be part of this great endeavor of Zeech International, to join us as part of the team, to be able to fulfill many of the desires of their life, to create extraordinary income and time freedom, and to be able to be a blessing to others. I can provide them with that opportunity, but what is out of my control is what they do with it. Okay, that's not in my control, and I am not held accountable for it. I am held accountable for did I share the product? I am not held accountable for did that person choose to change their life? Uh, give you a little example, uh, and and I'm not sure that that uh, you know I may have to you know censor this part of the video. Uh, we already know that Moringa Oliveira. Okay, it's been documented. There's there's hundreds of studies on on what Moringa Oliveira does for the body. One of the things we know is it helps uh, normalize blood sugar levels. Okay, uh, the 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 number of people with blood sugar issues that have had tremendous results from uh, using uh, you know our, our Moringa drink. Uh, I, I mean, it's almost commonplace now to hear these you know amazing stories. And I was sharing this with one lady one time, and she made the comment that, you know, well, $100 a month, that's a lot of money. And I said, well, yeah, but it's, it's about $3 a day. And, and frankly, you know, that's, a, you know, one soda pop and one Snickers bar, right, which she was using. I mean, I knew this, right? And she said, well, yeah, I think I'm just going to go ahead and stay with the insulin my doctor's given me because the government pays for it. Okay, now I want you to think about this for a minute. She had an opportunity to spend three bucks a day, three bucks and change, that would allow her body to work at optimal levels and potentially get her off the insulin, or she chose to take the money that the government was willing to give her uh, to pay for medication that was never going to change her condition, okay? I was accountable for sharing the good news with her of Moringo Affair, but I was not responsible for that idiotic decision that she made, okay? And uh, 
yeah, I guess maybe I'm going to have to like, <laughs> those of you on the replay, you may see a blank part here for a few minutes. So anyway, I ho hope that uh, illustration helps you. We are responsible for what we do, but we are not responsible for what others do. Learn what you can control and what you can't control, okay? We cannot control whether or not that brand new distributor that we just enrolled says, yes, I need to make a full-time income. I need to get out of my job. I need to provide for my family, whatever. That's their reasons for doing this. We share with them, and for those of you who are brand new, maybe you don't have all of the tools and resources to help a person create a, a full-time income because you're still trying to learn that. You plug them into the resources available to them. Send them to, you know, my YouTube training videos. That way you can be a trainer by pointing them in the right direction. Plug them into your active engaged upline. Uh, connect them with your upline diamond. That's part of you as a sponsor doing that. Even though you may not happen to have the knowledge and experience yourself, you can still bring them to the people and the resources that can help them. That's what you have in your control is to share the opportunity and share with them the resource to help them achieve their, their goals. What you can't control is what they do, okay? And, and trust me on this one, it's a tough deal to understand, okay? I personally, uh, and, and we don't have time to go into my story in that much depth, but if you understood the difference between what my life is today versus what it would have been if I'd stayed in truck driving, You'll understand this. I can't figure out why people wouldn't do this. I can't understand it. So, um, most important things you need to know about the sprint um, for fall 2019. Number one, be aware, be informed, be plugged in. Okay. Take a few minutes, educate yourself on the documents. Okay. Be plugged in, be part of the Zija Facebook page. Look for your upline leadership what resources they have for you. Um, you can plug into the resources I have. Uh, I'm, I'm, you know, I, I, everything I do is designed for Zija, not for just my team. You can go, uh, you can plug into my, my newsletter, uh, be part of that email list, go to fredholmes.com, um, www.fredholmes.com. That's my name. You can see it down. And that's weird. There's my name. That's how you spell it. Uh, and sign up for the newsletter. Uh, you can get plugged into the presentations and trainings that, that, uh, that myself and a number of the team are doing on uh, my YouTube channel, www.youtube.com forward slash Fred Um Pat Anderson, uh, one of our top, 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 top income earners, um, incredible, massive growth, you know, nationally and internationally. Uh, she, she is actually, you really got to do this, write this in your notes, uh, www.clubmoringa.com, clubmoringa.com. She's doing, I think it's a six week or eight week program, uh, having many of the top income earners teaching on different, uh, uh, aspects of success in the business. Uh, this past, if that's on Wednesday night. Uh, you can access it from her website, clubmoringa.com. Lots of other resources for you there. Um, this last Wednesday night, uh, 9.30 Eastern uh, on Wednesdays is when they post those videos. Uh, she had Reed Nelson. I got to tell you something. Reed Nelson, I mean, he is the deal. He's the real deal. This guy buries me in experience, buries me in income. And one of the nicest couples there, Reed and Yvonne, genuine, down-earth, humble people, but incredible experience and knowledge. He talked about personal development. I got a whole page of notes, uh, wrong notebook. I got a whole page of notes from watching that 27-minute video. Plug into there. So get plugged into those resources. Um, take a few minutes if there's any questions. Uh, I think I've covered everything I wanted to cover uh, for this morning. Let's see here. Um, the call, uh, Daryl Harnot Anholt. Um, have I told you you're my favorite? <laughs> Thank you, my friend. What what a nice thing to say. Uh, let's see. I got my first enrollment this morning for Sprint to Fall. Let's go get it. Sharita, good for you, sweetie. Woohoo! 
Uh, Sharita got her first enrollment this morning. Uh, from me to all the panelists. Oh, that was from me. <laughs> I just realized that when I put something in the chat box, it says from me. Uh, these, uh, oh, those PDFs. Uh, okay, the documents that I mentioned. Thank you, Lorraine. They're available on the on the Zija uh, Champions page, but they're also available in your Zija back office. Uh, is that still open? No, it's not. Uh, if you go to your Zija back office, uh, it's probably under Team Resources. Then go way over to the right, and it'll say uh, um, uh, Document Library. I think is what it says, and you'll find them there. Uh, 150p, one, one point a day adds up to 30 in a month. Oh, very good. I like that. Uh, go to back office, become familiar with it. Excellent resources. Club Moringa. Yes, yes, yes. All right. Very good. Uh, Gail, uh, thank you so much. Now, if there's a question or a comment, uh, please post it right now. Uh, I'll do my very best to answer it. Uh, I am going to break here in a minute. Uh, now, we're going to have our, our, our uh, first Saturday of the, uh, of the period team meeting. We're not going to take a long time. We just want to kind of focus on a few things, make sure everybody's on track. That's going to start right at the top of the hour. Uh, you can just stay tuned in like the way you are right now. Uh, I'm going to pause. I'm going to go step into the, uh, the, the, the next room. I'm going to just check on mom, make sure everything's going well. Um, but uh, 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 we'll be right back here in a few minutes. Stay plugged in or you can rejoin. The, the, the webinar is going to stay continuing. And let's see here. 75 points I want to get to this point. Sharita, 75 points? Really? Wow. Talk about an overachiever. Keep your eyes on Sharita. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's go ahead and shut this down for now. Stay tuned in. You get to listen to some more of my playlists. Uh, and I will be back here in like, uh, looks like seven minutes. All right. Thanks so much, folks. And uh, we'll see you in just a moment. All right. Battery 70%. Connect issue. Red by phone.